एवरीवन दिस इज राशि एंड वेलकम बैक टू द रीडिंग प्लेटर सो हियर इट इज द फेब्रवरी रैप अप वीडियो आई रियली डोंट लाइक फिल्मिंग रैप अप्स बट हियर इट इज एंड आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ समथिंग न्यू लाइक टू रिप्लेस रैप अप्स सो विल सी टू दैट बिकॉज आई नो लाइक आई डोंट लाइक वॉचिंग रैप अप्स एंड आई ऑल्सो डोंट लाइक मेकिंग रैप अप्स तो देर आर सो मैनी पीपल हु डोंट लाइक दैट बट दे रियली वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द बुक सो coming up with a new plan working on that project so let's talk about what i read in february before that i was supposed to read 149 pages per day and pages per day i read were 90 it was weirdly good you know february was weirdly good i don't know if you felt the same way or not or only i did so average pages per hour that i read were 58 and it makes like one page approximately per minute so the total hours i read were 43 hours that is so much more than january total pages i read were 2500 which were so much less than february i mean january so yeah like it was a little slow as compared to january but it was good like all the books that i read were five stars and the ones i did not like were like zero rating books so which was only one so the book i hated was the water knife by paolo i don't know how to pronounce the last name so i literally hated this book i was so fed up of reading it like i got annoyed in like first page of the chapter it was horrible like i have read a lot of dark books but this was so much like i don't know irritating or something i really can't even review the i dnf it i i i think i did not even read did not even read the first chapter completely i was so much so much over this book so much so this was the worst book and all of the books that i read were five star in uh, like expect except for one more that is an arc that i received from net galley confessions of a curious book seller by elizabeth green oh wait i have one more book by elizabeth green I really didn't like this book because it was in a form of uh you know emails and tweets and letters and all that I even don't know what it was about like I read a few pages but I was not catching the book so I am not going to review this book I'm not going to give it a star rating because I know it like I did not read it because I'm not interested in that format I read the blurb and it said that it contains emails and letters and tweets but I thought there will be like one or two you know in the middle of the book but it was the whole book was in that format and I'm not fond of that format so I'm not going to review this I'm not going to give any star ratings to this book because I really don't want to rate a book that I'm not interested in because i did not enjoy the format of the book i don't know what the words represent or words say so yeah i'm not going to re- uh, review this one moving on to all the books and i completed like the series challenge that i do i completed the six of crows which is a trilogy but the third book is not out yet the two books that were out uh i completed that one so talking about Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. It was one of the best books of February, and I gave it a five plus rating. I really, really enjoyed this book. Like all the characters, all the six characters, main characters. I cannot talk about the book enough, and I will make a video about the Six of Crows duology separately. So I'm not reviewing it here right now. but i really 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 enjoyed this book the second one the 5 plus rating book the best book of the month 
is um, like i decided to do one best book of the month but there was a huge competition between these two so i uh made an exception and we have two best books of the month the second is harry potter and the Philo philosopher's stone or the sorcerer's stones by jk rowling i loved it like the way of writing i'm very impressed by jk rowling's writing i really enjoyed it i enjoyed the first book that i read like another book by jk rowling the ichabog in january i really really loved that too i i'm fond of how she imagined things and how she put that into words and represent it in such a good way that you fall in love with the book and the characters it was so fun reading it i really love the plot i really love the characters i loved how magic was in the book uh favorite one so the next book is scrooged by v keeland so i read and penelope ward so i read one book in january by v keeland and penelope ward and i loved the duo so i decided to read one more and this month i read scrooge so this is like a this is a collection of three stories in one book and all the stories are different and really fun so much fun to read no cliche romance only fun romance and you know uh, like i don't know how to explain it i really love the book i love the storylines of all the three ones not an anthology because there are only three books in that and uh, i believe it is christmas based and i really loved it. it was short it was fast paced enjoyed it so the next book is the house in the cerulean sea by tj clune this i read for the book club that uh, i was supposed to read for the 52 weeks challenge i do not remember the name of the book club i'm so sorry that but the book is very very good i listened to the audiobook and also read the book uh loved the story loved how it was developed like the first two three chapters were a quite boring and i wasn't catching up but later the story as the story developed it was wonderful it was so fun reading it like it is uh about uh children who have magical abilities and there is a corporation who sends people to those houses where these children are kept and they uh, file a report if the a school or the boarding house is uh, working properly and the children are okay or uh, if they are not then they are problem to the universe and they are to be sent away so it was really nice story ni nice plot a different very very different plot really loved it a um, similar book i read was miss peregrine's home for peculiar peculiar children uh it was very very similar but this was kind of a middle grade but that one was very very dark so i will really really recommend this it was a five star read like all the books that i'm going to talk about now are five star no four stars no 4.5 stars all the books are five stars it was weirdly good like i don't know why but i read a very less but whatever i read was awesome except for one next i read was verity by queen hoover and i also had the audiobook for this loved it loved it so much it was dark it uh, follows the story of a writer who is asked to write with another author who has encountered an accident and she has to complete her series so then the you know 
tragedies continue strange things happen and it is converted into a very very horror story like the starting of the book was really terrifying but it was the point that will you know get you really really interested in that book so i really 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 enjoyed reading this it was dark like it was so dark that at times i felt like i have to stop reading it it's it's like getting over me but i'm so happy that i continued reading it like uh, there are very like there are parts which will force you to leave it like you will cringe on what's happening like how can that even happen but i will suggest to keep on reading it because it is really really nice and the ending is really nice and beautiful and thriller and mysterious and strange so there is one book that i am in currently middle of that is the eye of the north by shinid o hart i i am enjoying the story i cannot say that i am not enjoying it but it is a very slow paced book and i am like i am getting a feeling that so much things written in the book are really not necessary but they are still written so i have to read them and that's why i'm just lingering on to the book i am not getting into the book so much but whenever i read it i enjoy it but i'm not like feeling like picking it up so yeah i'm currently in the middle of it and currently i have dnf did but if you'll ask me if uh, like i would have read it i would have rated it above 4 stars so yeah currently not reading it giving this book a break maybe i'll read it later but not right now so the next is the audiobook that i received as an arc on net galley that is of wicked blood by olivia and kate it is uh the first book in the series and the name of the series is um i don't remember the name of the series but loved it loved it so much the narrators were awesome it's like hats off to the narrators the narrators were the ones that got me really really interested in the book like the way they spoke they conversed they uh like showed you horror they showed you fun they showed you romance it was really really nice it was really fun listening to it and i really love the story the story is about a boy that is uh, that goes to a place where uh he finds out that he is supposed to be a part of that world he's supposed to be a part of those strange things that happen and somehow he gets involved into that the story starts with him getting involved into that mess and how he and his friends and the one leading them solves the mystery and the end is really really thrilling and i loved the ending so much it was a bit you know kind of uh like i cannot explain but i really loved it but it was like okay it could have been written in some other way so i would have rated it 5 plus stars but really enjoyed it so no complaints loved it recommended for sure so this was my february wrap up i think it was not difficult because all of the books were five star so it was not that difficult but going to do something about the march wrap up because i am you know i'm i'm starting to panic about the march wrap up and it's just 14th of march right now so yeah we'll do something new for that and um, i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like the vague reviews and Uh, do subscribe to my channel for more book recommendation and book reviews and we'll meet in the next one mm -hmm.